Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, I will discuss geometric series. By definition, a geometric series refers to the sum of the terms in a geometric sequence. As an illustration, we may have 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus and so on and so forth. Deriving the formula to the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence, s sub n be equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 1 times r plus a sub 1 r squared plus and so on and so forth plus a sub 1 r raised to n minus 2 plus a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Here we first assume that the sum of the terms in a geometric sequence will be equal to s sub n. Next, we will multiply r or the common ratio on both sides. So here we obtain r times s sub n be equal to a sub 1 times r plus a sub 1 r squared plus and so on and so forth plus a sub 1 r raised to n minus 2 plus a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1 plus a sub 1 r raised to n. Eliminating like terms with different sign, we get s sub n minus r times s sub n be equal to a sub 1 minus a sub 1 times r raised to n. By common monomial factor, we can factor out s sub n on the left side of the equation. That would become s sub n times quantity 1 minus r. On the right side of the equation, s sub 1 can be factored out. We'll have a sub 1 times quantity 1 minus r raised to n. Dividing both sides by 1 minus r so that we could express the sum by s sub n. That would now be a sub 1 times quantity 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r. So thus, we have the formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence. Also take note that the value of r or the common ratio for this formula should not be equal to 1. If it will be equal to 1, we simply use n times a sub 1 or the number of terms times the first term. For our first example, find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric sequence 3, 6, 12, and so on and so forth. First, we need to know the given and then the question in order for us to use the formula. So the first term in this item is 3. And since we are looking for the sum of the first 10 terms, n here will be equal to 10. Also to know the common ratio, we will divide the second term, 6, by the first term, 3. So that is positive 2. Substitute the values in the formula, s sub n be equal to a sub 1 times quantity 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r. That would be s sub 10 be equal to 3 times quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 10 all over 1 minus 2. 2 raised to 10 is equal to 1024. 1 minus 1024 is negative 1023. Dividing that by negative 1, that's positive 1023, times 3 will give us a value of 3069. Therefore, the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric sequence is 3069. For our second example, the sum of the first five terms of a geometric sequence is 605 and the common ratio is 3. Find the fifth term. For this example, we will compute first for the first term or a sub 1. Given that the sum of the first five terms, s sub 5, be equal to 605 and the common ratio is positive 3. Using the formula, that would be 605 be equal to a sub 1 times quantity 1 minus 3 raised to 5 all over 1 minus 3. 3 raised to 5 is 243. 1 minus 243 is negative 242. Then for the denominator, we have negative 2. By cross multiplication, 605 times negative 2, that is negative 1010 be equal to a sub 1 times negative 242. Dividing both sides by negative 242, the value of A will be equal to 5. Thus, the first term of the sequence is 5. To know the fifth term, we will use the formula for the nth term of a geometric sequence. That is given by 
a sub n be equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. a sub 5 is equal to 5 times 3 raised to 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 is 4, and 3 raised to 4 is 81. Multiplying that by 5, hence the fifth term of this geometric sequence is 405. For our third example, a person has two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, and so on. How many ancestors does a person have nine generations back? For this item, since it asks for the total number of ancestors, then it asks for the sum. And the first term for this sequence, or a sub 1, should be equal to 2, since initially you have two parents. Common ratio for this item is also 2, considering that each succession has two parents. Following the formula, a sub n be equal to a sub 1, times quantity 1 minus r raised to n, all over 1 minus r, that would be s sub 9, be equal to 2 times quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 9, all over 1 minus 2. 2 raised to 9 is 512, 1 minus 512 is negative 511. For the denominator, that is 1 minus 2 or negative 1, 2 times negative 511 is negative 1022. And dividing that by negative 1, we have positive 1022. Therefore, in this problem, a person has 1022 ancestors 9 generations back. Also, there are geometric sequences which has infinite number of terms. In this case, we will use the infinite geometric series formula to find its sum. It is given by S be equal to A sub 1 over 1 minus R, where R should be less than 1 but is greater than negative 1. As an example, find the sum of the infinite geometric series 80 plus negative 40 plus 20 plus negative 10 plus and so on and so forth first we need to solve for r or the common ratio that would be negative 40 over 80 or negative one half since this value falls within the boundaries of values for the common ratio then we can use the formula s sub n be equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r and to find the sum of the series that would be 80 over 1 minus negative one half 1 minus negative 1 half is the same as 3 over 2. Getting the reciprocal, then multiplying it by 80, we have 160 over 3. Hence, the sum of this infinite geometric series is 160 over 3, or approximately equal to 53.33. Also, another example, what is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence 3, 15, 75 and so on and so forth solving for the common ratio that would be r be equal to 15 divided by 3 that value gives 5 and since this common ratio does not satisfy the condition that r must be between negative 1 and 1 then we can say that the sequence has no finite sum thank you for watching please do not forget to like share and subscribe god bless